All right, I want to turn you on to something else today. This is a Bosch 18 volt with two batteries, half inch, Aga Daga, or get her done gun. So anyways, my buddy was gonna throw this away. And as you see, any sane person would have left it in the trash. Well, unless they had a Bosch 18 volt and they would have grabbed the batteries. But, old not that guy. He knows. And before you ask, no, I did not get these from Bosch. I got these from E-Replacement Parts. I want to say this cost me, I want to say 14 bucks. They weren't that expensive. All right. And it's Bosch. And they sell pretty much everything for this thing brushes, whatnot. E-replacement parts is a great place. You um, got an old lawnmower, you need a carburetor, a chainsaw, you need a plastic piece for or a clutch. Um, I've bought controllers for my oven. I've bought power tool parts. Um, they carry all the major brands. I don't know how they do it. Relatively cheap. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stuff, and the next time you see this, you know maybe I get her working, maybe I don't, but you'll see a video. All right, and then I'll tell you the pitfalls. Maybe I'll tape them. I don't know. All right, I took a photo of all this crap, so I knew how it went back together. The only thing I can point out is there is a small spring here that goes to the battery side that you could possibly lose. Um, I was lucked out and, you know, I was able to get it in, but a little grease around that spring where, you know, where she goes into this plastic here to hold it when you slide this piece in, yeah, might help. The RF choke didn't really want to go in very well, but I found if you just wiggled it, you were able to get it in there. It's quite tight. It wasn't tight on the original plastic. This screen inlet, you're gonna need that. Um, sorry about the fingers. You're gonna need that from your old, from your old plastics. Um, check the brushes. I'm trying to clean up years and years of gump. I've uh, lubed up the planetaries. Um, once you get this rubber piece off, which I've already lost the rubber piece, what do I do with it? It's right here. Once you get the rubber nose off, all this pretty much comes right apart. It's just a bull ring. It's just a bull ring, and you're able to get in there and clean everything up and re-grease it. I don't know what the proper grease is. Um, I'd say like an Aeroshell 7, but this one, I just use the 22, the stinky, sticky grease. I want to say Aeroshell 7, if I remember, is um, 8th. 326 would be the mill spec and that looked like that's probably what they used uh a can of electrical contact cleaner helped out uh rule with that is make sure what i do is i spray it on a q-tip and make sure it doesn't eat the plastic and the wires and some canned air and we're almost there so there you go folks from trash to treasure And I didn't pick up on it, but it's got one of these fancy little, how much batteries do I got? Um, yeah, e-replacement parts. And yeah, I, I don't know what these go for, but you know, a little time and like under 20 bucks, got myself a little half inch hugger dugger. All right, that's about it. Have a good one, YouTube.